हाय हेलो नमस्ते माय नेम इज अभिषेक पाठक दिस इज डॉट नेट ऊप्स पार्ट ट्वेंटी इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कवर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन ऑन पॉलीमॉर्फिज्म सो इन अर्लियर वीडियोस आई कवर्ड इंपॉर्टेंट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन टिल नाउ आई हैव रिकॉर्डेड 19 वीडियोस एंड दोज 90 वीडियो कंटेंट्स एटी एट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सो इफ यू गाइज हैव नॉट वॉच अर्लियर वीडियोज यू कैन वॉच दोज वीडियोज टू क्लैरिफाई योर डॉट नेट ऊप्स इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर विद प्रैक्टिकल इन दिस वीडियो विल सी फाइव इंपॉर्टेंट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सो वॉट विल बी द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट वन विल बी वॉट इज पॉलीमॉर्फिज्म टाइप ऑफ पॉलीमॉर्फिज्म वॉट इज मैथड ओवरलोडिंग एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मैथड ओवरलोडिंग वेन वी शुड यूज मैथड ओवरलोडिंग वॉट आर डिफरेंट नेम्स यूज फॉर मैथड ओवरलोडिंग सो लेट्स फाइंड आउट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आंसर वॉट इज पॉलीमॉर्फिज्म सो पॉलीमॉर्फिज्म मीन्स वन नेम मैनी फॉर्म सो when we have requirement where we have to use the same method name for different purpose then we can use the polymorphism second question is types of polymorphism so there are two types of polymorphism is available overloading and overriding so what is overloading uh, we'll see that let's first read out the third question what is method overloading example of method overloading so what is method loading so having different methods with same name but different parameter in a single class is called method overloading so we'll see the practical to understand this and uh, what is method loading example of method uh, overloading just now we studied the example of this overloading now let's do the practical to understand what is method overloading so we'll uh, open the visual studio and we'll do the practical so i'm using visual studio 2015 let's create one console application and in this console application we'll create the class and we'll see the polymorphism so let's create the class public class employee let's uh, create one method public int sum this method has two parameters int a and int b so let's return the sum of a plus b now you have one more requirement where you want to sum three values so what you can do you can have one more parameter here like this and we'll return a plus b plus c okay so as you can see we have one meth method ne method uh, that is sum and sum is repeated twice but with different parameter that is known as a method overloading okay so this is known as a method overloading and even we can have same number of parameter but with different type or data type we can say so suppose this is the type of long and uh, we have to return the long from here so as you can see same method name but with different data type and uh, in third method we have passed the different number of parameter here different type of parameter so it is known as a method overloading same name with different parameter and uh, uh, sometimes people get confused between public long so having some int a int b and uh, suppose now it's returning Uh, it's returning something a string okay and uh, we'll convert the a plus b into a string so how to convert that let's take both parameter in bracket and then we can say dot to string but this method is not going to work because method overloading always uh, it means same method name with different parameter but here this sum having same parameter here uh, the number of parameter is 2 here is 2 but we are using the same uh, parameter so this is known as this is not uh, this is not going to work if we build the application it is going to give us the error so let's comment it out also in one of the interview i was asked whether it is whether it will work so int a int b and return a plus b 
okay so as you can see if i build the application uh, build will will be successful so if you guys have noticed this sum and this sum there is a difference capital uh, so this s is capital and this s is lower case okay because c sharp is a case sensitive but this sum is not going this is not a method overloading because this is a different meaning and this is a different meaning altogether okay so always remember that c sharp is a case sensitive and if you ever come across this interview question so you can give the answer so let's uh, read out the another question when we should use method overloading so it's very important question so uh, when we have to use the method overloading so we can say when you need couple of method to take different parameter but do the same thing uh, when we should use the method overloading and uh, we saw the example of sum let's uh, have one more functionality so suppose user is searching based on uh, some criteria so user wants to search the user based on some criteria so let's uh, create the method search employee now user can search based on first name so string f name so return something here let's return abhishek and uh, suppose this method now user wants to search uh, based on first name as well as last name so user can pass one more parameter here so string l name l name and now let's return john okay so uh, it means now we are having same parameter with different parameter a different uh, same method name with different parameter and this is the real example where we can use the method overloading so let's uh, read out the last question what are different name used for method overloading again that is very important question because lots of people get confused between different names are available for overloading so what are the names available for method overloading early binding compile time uh, overloading and static so these are four name uh, we can say method overloading early binding compile time and static okay so i hope uh, you like my video these are the five question i covered in next video we'll see the overriding that is another important topic so uh, if you like my videos please subscribe and if you have any question suggestion please give me a comment or you can send me a mail and uh, uh, as always thanks for watching my video goodbye